I'm with Andrew Tart. Andrew, this is an old friend, isn't it? Yes, some 21 years ago, is it? Uh, absolutely, it is 21 years ago. The year 2000, you finished a total restoration of the car, a conservation restoration. What are your memories of all that, that challenge? Well, it, it did a long time ago, um, and I can remember lots of single individual li bits and bobs. Um, I remember bringing it um, back from your workshop to Bridge North, um, Nick, Nick Gold, Goldthorpe was with us, yes, and we used his old XJ uh, XJ6 to tow it, um, and it was in a sad state. But it was all complete. There exactly. were very, very few things that were missing from the car, um, which was great. That was yes. the most important, so important. Uh, thing. So many cars have been um, spoilt because poor restorations or, or half restorations have been done. So this was very unusual to be such a complete car. We've been joined by another cat, a rather smaller four-legged version. <laughs> uh, and you, you aimed, of course, to retain as much of the car as you possibly could, rather than just sort of taking panels off and throwing them away, putting a new panel on. Everything was repaired where possible. Well, if you remember, we, we sat down and had lots of meetings, but the whole idea was we, we wanted to retain the, the original car. It would have been very easy to go off the Martin Roby and buy a lot of panels, and, and it would have been a lot cheaper. Um, but we wouldn't have had the car that we've got today, exactly. uh, and, and that, that's important. Exactly. Um, no disrespect, of course, to Martin. No, no, but but it's totally without Martin Roby, E types wouldn't be on the road today. Indeed, yeah, absolutely Indeed. fantastic. Better, better Martin. Martin Roby does a better job than almost anybody else in, in, in uh, mm. supplying parts for proper parts for, for eight times. But this of course was a very different challenge and of course it was also quite different in various ways because it was a hand-built prototype used for testing. We didn't quite know that until we started to take the paint off it and dismantle the car and, and I, I remember very well taking the paint off and there's on the um, as the roof joins the rear panel there's rather an ugly join there on the majority of cars. Um, uh, spot welded and then lead loaded over and it, it just wasn't there and so it seemed to be that the roof uh, and the rear wings were all one piece of metal and then we started to look much closely, much closer uh, and we could see the welds um, and see how it was manufactured and you're quite right it was a hand built uh, prototype which we all knew about but we hadn't quite appreciated how it was done. Well, of course, you couldn't really until you take the paint off. But it was also this curious mixture, as I recall, of beautiful handmade, great workmanship. But then, of course, it was a development car. Yes. And, and it had a job to do. And so they were testing things, trying things, altering things, and just snipping stuff, bodging. I can remember where they cut the around the transmission tunnel, sort of snip, 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 fold it back. That's right. And, and behind the bodging. dashboard also, um, and particularly when it was converted from left-hand drive to right-hand drive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we would, we, we wouldn't like, we wouldn't, we'd be doing a much, much, much better job today than they did then. Mm. It was, as you said, just a make do. It was never intended to last. Mm. Um, just get the job done. Absolutely. Development car. Yeah. And also talking about the dashboard, do you remember the, the scribe lines where they worked out where to put the yes. various apertures and I so on? I think that's which I you retain. Yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Fabulous Definitely. bit of, it sounds totally nutty and nerdy, but it was a wonderful bit of the history of the car. Well, it is, it just showed how work was being done in, in, in that period. Yes, yes. And, and of course, the engine, engines are one of your passions. Yes. And uh, you re rebuilt the engine. Yes, I remember we had the film crew with us. We did, um, indeed. And um, it was all a bit odd because, you know, Sometimes it's not easy to take things apart. They're stuck and, and, and sometimes you have to use force where you don't want to. And um, we had to take the sump off, you know, and we were saying this, this sump hasn't been off this car for 40 years, is that right? Yeah, 40 years. Yeah. Um, um, equally, the head hadn't, we felt the head hadn't come off for 40 years. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, we didn't find anything particularly special in there, but it was, it was all pucker and original, which was lovely, I remember discovering um, what make of pistons they were, and I can't remember the make, but they certainly weren't AE pistons, they were, mm. I've forgotten. Mm. Um, and um, there, were, there were lots of little individual 
uh, oddity, if you like. Well, it? we reckon it was blueprinted, don't we? At the very least. It, it would have blueprinted, and in effect, it was a late XK150 engine. Yes, um, that, yeah. that's that's yes. what they, they used. Um, they would have put it together very, very carefully yes. if they were intending to do the testing and, and yeah. prove what it could do. Indeed. So that's it's fascinating to chat and and remember those great days. When you look back. How important in your career, you've had a very illustrious career in the old car and motor racing world, historic racing. How do you look back at your old chum? Well, I think it's the most important car I've ever restored. Really? Um, OKV1 okay, D type is, a, is fantastic, which I had a, a, a big input to, but didn't have as much input as I did on this. I didn't do all of the work by any means. Um, but, um, I, you know, this, this is a very special car. Well, I'm a lucky guy, and I was also not only a lucky guy to own it, but very fortunate indeed to have you and your colleagues restore it. You did a brilliant job. and I think we did. A blowing my own trumpet, <laughs> classic motor cars at the time, um, did a great job on this. And it, it's not just the, the physical work on it, but all the records we kept. That mm. was an important part mm. of it. Mm. Well, I've been very fortunate to, to enjoy the car ever since. 2000 you finished it here we are now 21 years later yeah that's great amazing thank you andrew thank you very much